Hey, what is up? Roman here, and today we are talking about Chunky's 5A Creative Counterweights, specifically the majority of his counterweights, um, and what it's like to use the bead method when it comes to setup. Um, that's what we're going over today, how to set up your Chunky's counterweight, and this is for the majority of Chunky's counterweight, not the Easy Cube, which we will go all over in a second video. Um, so yeah, what counterweights, for the most part, are included in this? Well, here's some new ones. Let's look at the uh, the Baya. This is a brand new one that is absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, I love this one. You have the Cupcake. Golly, so creative. Uh, really love those two. And then those are some of the newer models, but you can even use things like the Candy Corn. Um, I love throwing these for Halloween. You have the Starship. The new tire GT or uh, all terrain, maybe. Um, and you even have the new power cubes, which are not easy cubes. They have uh, what we're about to talk about, which is the hole on the bottom. See that larger hole? So this would be the string hole, and this would be the larger hole for the beads. This and all the other counterweights and more, um, everything that's not an easy setup, easy cube setup. Um, allows you to use two beads. And the cool thing is he's also created these things called easy beads. So easy beads have a slot right through where you can just slip on and off a string. I'm gonna show you how to set these up. And what is the benefit of something like that? Well, if you're not sure whether you want to for sure have two beads or one bead, it allows you to quickly put in an easy bead and give it a shot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and string some stuff up in different configurations and show you all the different possibilities that you have with Chunky's counterweights, which is one of my favorite parts because you can pick any of his designs and match up with your yo-yos, but then you can also get the perfect weight for your counterweight. So how awesome is that? All right, let's go ahead and move to the tabletop and I will show you how to set up. Alrighty, so take your yo-yo string, thread the easy stringer through the string, now go ahead and grab a bead, and we're gonna thread that through first. Remember, this is the side that's going towards the yo-yo. Grab your counterweight, use a larger hole to go through first. That will come through the smaller hole, which is the side that goes towards the yo-yo. So what you can do is try this setup out. If the one bead is too much, use a double overhand knot to use no beads at all. Remember, you'll remove the bead, but that's fine. So now, if you decide that it's not enough weight, grab an easy bead. See the slot, put the string through, have it lay on top of the bead so that it sits higher in the counterweight with less chance of it falling out. If you decide this is a weight for you, I suggest using two beads instead of the easy bead so that there's no chance of it falling out at all. And now you're set up to go. All right, so what do you think? Not too hard, right? It gives you a ton of different options, gives you um, whatever it is you're looking for when it comes to weight, you can pretty much make it happen. Although filaments weigh different amounts when it comes to how everything ends up weighing when it comes to grams, um, you can use a scale to figure that out or just give it a shot. Easy beads make things easier to try um, and get whatever weight you're looking for and figure out whether you want two beads, one bead, or just use the easy bead the whole time. It's up to you. So yeah, that was pretty quick and easy. I hope that helps. And I'm super excited for you guys to try out Chunkies if you haven't already. Um, all throughout May, he will be dropping stuff. So just keep your eyes out and open and peeled. Um, and if you haven't already, please check out the recently released Cupcake and Baya. These are what I'm throwing all this month. So very excited about that. Again, my name is Roman, I'm sponsored by Chunkies, and I am excited for you guys to join the 5A journey with me if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one.